Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac. Had some nice little casual runs. You know what? This is a double fail. I hate using that word because it makes you sound like somebody who's completely out of touch with society. But it was also a seated run. And on top of that, we randomed the character. You're never allowed to random. But hey, I got Eve. We had a great Eve run last time, which means I cannot have to take Eve. And of course, we're going to take Samson because the random is bullshit. Randomness doesn't exist, dog. It exclusively gives you. Samson, Eve, and Blue Baby. Mind you, we've had some good runs with uh, pretty much all those characters. Hopefully we can string together another good one with Samson. What's the good news? Well, the good news is... Whore of Babylon. Well, even when we're not Eve, we're kind of Eve. We'll see if we can get some use out of that, but it might be a little while before that really factors into our equations, but it's a nice thing to remember. But the good thing, as Samson, that I was actually going to say before making that joke, hoping that, like, Polythemus showed up in that room, oh, is that we start with the spirit heart. Maybe half a spirit heart now. That uh, puts us in a position to have a very good chance to get a deal with the devil on the next floor if we're uh, able to not take damage, which has not seemed very uh, likely so far. And if we can manage to make that happen, then anything could happen at that point. We're going to be looking for bombs here. Uh, well, not really in the fire, but on the rest of the level. We got a penny. I should have known that we'd kind of get screwed there. But really, if we don't get like a single bomb or key, puts us in a little bit of an annoying spot. I wouldn't say a tough spot necessarily, but an annoying spot. Usually you'd expect to get either one bomb or one key on the first floor, but instead we got nothing at all. Nothing at all. I can't even summon a Flandersism here because I'm just a little bit bummed out by the fact that we might not be able to open our item room on the next floor. Let's not even worry about our shop just yet. Shop! I'm just hoping we can win a game. We'll be getting a speed upgrade. The most important of all the upgrades and heading down to the next floor, but I ain't mad. We're just gonna stay cool here. Because really, the most important thing is just that we get a deal with the devil, but hey, Cursed Skull is actually kind of terrible. I don't know the implications of it for that curse room, so we're just gonna ignore it for now. If you want to be mad at someone, if Nine Lives shows up on this deal with the devil and I'm forced to take it, be mad at the game. Them not giving me HP means that Nine Lives is a guaranteed pickup, basically, if it shows up on the Devil Room. Because it might be the only item that actually guarantees us or protects our survival even a little bit. So, yeah, don't be mad at me if I end up having to take Nine Lives. It's my decision, but they've forced my hand here. You know, you're not gonna blame, uh, you know, a, a mother for stealing a loaf of bread to raise her kids if the freaking, you know, bakery puts their prices at nine dollars or something. Okay, I'm, we don't need to get into that. I say we fight the boss. Let's do it. It's just pin. Pin's no big deal. Wow, okay. Never mind. Pin's a pain in the dick. That being said, as long as we don't get hit again, we're fine. We won't be able to build Rage at all. Rage at all, also my favorite uh, synthetic steroid alternative. Doesn't make you ripped, it just makes you angry, which gives you the motivation to do what needs to be done. Thank God. Only about 50% of the way through this fight. Prepare for like the most intense pin fight of all time. Because he's a pin and I'm a balloon. I don't know, that sounds like a Lisa Loeb song or something like that. Just shoot a bomb that explodes in your own face. Pin, shot a bomb, it's a boy. When I used to see that commercial, I thought it was Bob had a baby pizza boy. I was like, he had a baby pizza? How, what is What does the mother look like? Because Bob just looks like a normal dude. For those of you who are a little bit long, younger, that was a commercial, ooh, a commercial for something called Collect Calling. Or maybe it was for some kind of phone plan they made it so you had to not call Collect. We really can't afford to do this, so it looks like this is probably going to be a deal with the Angel Run. The way Collect Calls work, they might still work, but you may never have to do one in your young life. We went down that road so you didn't have to. Um, collect Calling basically was you would call somebody usually long distance or from a place that was, you know, far away. And then you would say, like, what's your name and who are you calling? And then an operator would go, like, do you accept the charges from this person? It was an antiquated system. But it was the only way to keep you in touch with the ones you loved. I really can't afford to take those two hearts. First off, it might just kill me. Secondly, um, even if it didn't, getting hit once would kill us. And we're not going to be able to access any special rooms here. So I'm feeling pretty bad about that. But meat is a pretty good pickup. Now, I don't... Well, let me put it this way. I'm not in love with our situation. We have 2 HP. That's acceptable for this point in the game as Samson, considering where we start. Um, I have deal with the angel 
possibilities. Not necessarily guaranteed yet, but deal with the angel possibilities. I have no consumables. I have Whore of Babylon. This is, you know, no consumables is really the hard part, you know? It's hard to, you know, pay your bills if you're not making any money. It's hard to keep killing enemies if we're not making any uh, progress with respect to our items here. Very few items in Isaac are good enough to carry you all by themselves, you know? They're, they're rare. Well, they're... Ooh, that was... I kind of got stuck on a corner there. Got lucky to get out of that without taking damage. All right. All right. I mean, this is the caves. It shouldn't be this dire, but I really, really want to get... <laughs> really, really want to give ourselves the best chance possible of getting this deal with the devil if we can. Now, I can't even, like, bomb over here and get this bomb to possibly get two bombs and go into the secret room and then the item room. That's the kind of situation we found ourselves in. We have to, like, FADC in order to actually get anything going here. By the way, people always call me out on using, you know, what is it, focus attack dash cancel. They say, NL, you don't know anything about the fighting game community, stop using that reference. And you know what, you're right, but no. <laughs> I like it, because it sounds complex, and thus it serves as kind of a fitting substitution in my metaphor. FADC is difficult to do. What we're trying to do is difficult to do. It's imperfect, but elegant. Oh, come on. How many hits does this thing take? The other ones died in like one hit each. Yeah, that's a funny joke. Let's hurt ourselves on Demon Judgment and then go fight uh, the boss with Whore of Babylon active. If we get hit once, we'll die. It'll be a real freaking hoot. Yeah, why don't we just go, uh, you know, walk over some hot coals, Tony Robbins. Sounds like a great time. How much do I have to pay for the experience? Well, we've been lucky enough, and I do mean lucky, because there's any number of rooms that could really, really have caused a nightmare for me here. But we've been lucky enough to not take damage here. Secret room could be in a, a couple of different locations. I don't really care about that. I would rather kind of just drop a bomb down here and see if we can get a key from this. Okay, and we got a bomb back as well. We'll probably open that, but I think we'll fight the boss first. So with this key, um, I think we're going to look for our secret room. And I'm just going to take a guess that it's right here. It wasn't, so we know pretty much exactly where it is now. Uh, which means that we're going to use our key right now to get into this item room in the hopes that it gives us maybe a decent spacebar item. Alright. It's not my favorite, but it's acceptable. And it gave us another bomb, which will allow us to access the secret room, but I don't necessarily want to use it yet. Because we could use two bombs and then access the, uh, the shop. So why shoot our wad going for the secret room right away, you know? Or we could just use one bomb and attack our boss and maybe get a better chance of getting a deal with the angel here. But I really think that this is not... It's not overstating it to say that this is an extremely important floor. And this room itself is extremely important. There's a tinted rock. So here's what I'm thinking. We put a bomb down here. This is why I'm happy to have saved a bomb. Well, you know, I was hoping for a spirit heart. I'm just... I'm focusing here. Uh, rarely do I have to stop talking to start focusing, but uh, this is one of those rare situations. Um, I was hoping it was a spirit heart, and a, a spirit heart would have been a preferable outcome in the short term. In the long term, maybe it still would have been a preferable outcome. Maybe you shouldn't have taken the small rock till the end of this room, because uh, little Chad does start going pretty quickly here, as he gets smaller and smaller. But, um, yeah, small rock's still great. Most of the time, you prefer small rock to, uh, any other possibility in those tinted rocks. That was the worst place you could spawn two of these flies, you big old dick man. Why are you being such a dick man, you dick man? I didn't want to say it to his face there. Not because I'm a coward, no, I just didn't want him to be offended, you know, be a big baby about it. So I won't be getting a deal with the devil here, that's for sure. Because I'm still an Isaac Neo fight, maybe there's a chance for me to get a deal with the angel, but I don't think so. Instead, we're going to have a little Chad, and you know what? I'm going to take it. I don't mind. Then we might end up uh, needing that, it might end up saving our life or something like that. We got another key out of this. So I think it was absolutely worth it. And if nothing else, at least we did get a damage upgrade from our boss, but surely we are below average in terms of, you know, a lot of important metrics at this point. Small Rock is good. Rage at least gives us, you know, the hope for these rooms to build damage, but it's not very good for single target foes that don't spawn enemies like Isaac, or at least Isaac doesn't spawn enemies until the very end of the fight. So we're gonna um, definitely be looking to up our rate of fire, up our damage, up our HP. You know, if you could just give us, like, three all-stats upgrades, I would probably consider that an equitable trade, but at least we did get... Oh, yeah, I am gonna... Ugh. 
Ugh. I forgot about this demon judgment. Well, one play is a no-brainer. Two is about as far as I'm willing to go. He could have paid out. What are the odds that he pays out on the third one? I don't even want to know. We'll be heading down to the next floor. This is not that disappointing of a floor. But uh, I'm a little anxious, and I think you would be a little anxious in my shoes as well. This is certainly a, a tougher run than we've had over the past two runs. We've had Samson runs that started out worse than this and ended better than... Well, hopefully ended better than this. Hopefully this kind of echoes that situation. Another key, beautiful. At least we're starting to build up a little bit of uh, a supply of those. You know, it's possible we may actually even be able to visit uh, a shop over the course of our run. Of course, we're gonna need money to make that happen. We haven't really been in a position privileged enough to have that happen yet, but that's okay. Any day now, if we get some bombs. It's another key. And a spirit heart. This is a huge turn for us. Now, it's actually very plausible that that library would actually be pretty good. Like, Book of Sin is alright. But is it, the, uh, is it the best book that we could possibly have going for us? No. I mean, we'd probably want Book of Revelations or Book of Belial. Or even Book of Shadow. But we could also get, you know, Monster Manuel Telepathy for Dummies or something. But I guess we're not going to our shop, so we might as well just at least take a crack at it. So yeah, I think Book of Revelations is a lot better. It's gonna give us a cube of meat, which is gonna slow down our, you know, chance of getting tiers and damage and HP upgrades, HP in particular. Uh, but it's the item that gives us the best chance possible of survival. Especially long term. And if we end up getting, like, Guppy's Paw or something, as long as we can get something that maybe augments uh, Book of Revelations a little bit more, like a Nun's Habit, we can be comfortable relying on Spirit Hearts, which would also give us the damage bonus from Horror Babylon. So we've got some interesting stuff going on here. Interesting doesn't always mean good, but it means there's, you know, if there's something to chew over, it means there's a little bit of meat on the bone, right? It means there's a chance for us to do something. I do not like immolated hoppers. No, I do not. Would like thank you for that to be uh, taken care of. We should be fighting Pestilence here. Pestilence, relatively easy boss fight. Very excited about deal with the devil. Ooh, deal with the devil or deal with the angel prospects here. I would be happy to take either or. They both have their pressing advantages and disadvantages. Deal with the angel. Less offensively good on average, although there are some items that buck that trend. Better defensively, and it's free. Usually better defensively, at least. And the item's free. Um, deal with the Devil Rooms, usually a little bit better offensively, but they're HP expensive. And uh, the other thing is they usually get a choice. You get two items instead of one. Generally, I prefer deals with the Devil, even in low HP situations, because of those items that uh, you know allow you to kind of stay alive by having low HP. For example, nine lives, but... Uh, I'm not, I mean, why am I even talking about this? This is like episode 990, basically, of Isaac. You probably don't need this analysis, but it's something to keep my brain kind of, you know, just humming along here while I'm fighting this boss. Keep me on the ball. And that worked out well. We do have a deal with the devil. The deal with the devil is a two-heart Guppy's head deal. I think it's fair to say that this will probably be the last time the game gives us a, a deal with the devil. Because we have rebuked two in a row. Mind you, the two that we've had so far have been absolutely terrible, so I don't really feel too bad about it. This is the only way out for us. So we could trade a bomb for a key. Won't be able to find the secret room in the process there, so it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Really thought that that would be dead. Ooh, a little risky there. A little, little risky there, too. That was a little risky. Two of clubs is going to double our bombs, a.k.a. give us two bombs if we don't have any. I guess the question becomes, you know, how much do we, uh, how much do we want bombs? Will we sacrifice the prospects of future bombs to pick up some bombs right now? There is a tinted rock down there. I think that might actually be the right idea. Well, if we're going to do that, we shouldn't pick up this bomb yet. Because we can actually get three bombs for the price of one. Just one of the- oh, okay. Well, now we can get up to four bombs, so now it's worth picking up and using. And that's gonna be six bombs now, even better. Guppy's, uh... Hairball is not really the item that I was hoping for there. If it became part of the Guppy transformation, I'd be a little bit more excited. As is, this is incredibly disappointing. So I guess we will be looking for a secret room on this floor and hoping against hope that somehow we uh, get the money necessary to make our shop worthwhile. 
Thank God we found that on our first bomb. And the Ankh. Okay, so the Ankh is the best item that we've gotten so far. Specifically, be or simply because it actually uh, gives us the ability to recover from a terrible disaster. And also, it's a uh, bomb for a key here seems good. It uh, lets us use Whore of Babylon. Excuse me? Okay, that worked, thankfully. Yeah, it lets us use Whore of Babylon if we die, which is a nice damage bonus, but... We'll uh, check out our curse room here because we're a little bit desperate. I don't think it's worth giving the money to Judgment, but... Well, let me put it this way. I don't think Judgment's going to pay out, but what else do we get out of two cents? Pretty much nothing, right? I guess we'll at least try. Pretty much how I expected that to go down. It's not like we've spent any money. I'm pretty sure that's all the money we've gotten on this run so far. Yeah, we'll be heading down to the next floor. Really hoping not Necropolis. Okay, that's a good start. And then I'm hoping uh, a deal for the Angel, or deal with the Angel now, because really, um, our, our time has kind of ticked away on our deal with the Devil. We should fight war on this floor, so I would really be surprised if we got HP. It's kind of why I like Blood Banks. Should be weighted a little higher here, but I don't have the money to get the Blood Banks because I've picked up zero money. I spent two cents on Judgment. You gonna guilt me for that? Oh, well, you're never gonna get a Blood Bank if you keep spending money on stuff like Judgment. F you, buddy. That's one of the few things that gives me a little bit of hope in this you know, financially twisted world of Isaac, specifically Isaac we're talking about here. That's going on. Now. You can jump all you want. It's not gonna give you the win. Spelunker's hat, again, like, well this should solve our money woes as long as we can keep our bombs high, but uh, it's kind of a not the item we need. This could be. Okay, it's a start. Guppy's head is probably the worst Guppy item. You could argue maybe the, the tail. I mean, they are all bad in their own way, but they can also all be pretty good in their own way, except Guppy's paw, which I think pretty much for the most part just almost always ends up being bad. Let's, uh, before we go to our secret room here, just in case there's like a shop or some kind of special room, that is such a bad chest. On the other side of it, we'll uh, check. There's a library. Um, Honestly, I don't think we really want to go to the library. So I don't, I'm not worried about bombing our way through. Which is why I traded two bombs for two keys there. So we'll use our last bomb right here. Hopefully there's some money. Like lots of it. Uh, could be. Alright, or a steam sale. I would take either of them at this point. Mostly because we, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? We can't afford to be too picky. Alright, those guys die in two hits. Build a little bit of rage. Doesn't really matter all that much. Greed's nearly dead anyway. One more hit'll do it. Try not to get hit yourself in the process. And that'll take us to like seven cents? Yeah. Not quite enough, but that's okay. I'm tempted to go to that library. I mean, I think for obvious reasons, right? We, we actually do stand a small but uh, existent chance to actually get a uh, double item room. It's extremely unlikely. We'd have to get like a lot of libraries to show up in the back half of the game. But we've already had like one book show up randomly and we picked up two other ones. Well, I really wish we'd saved a bomb. Because I would love to open that golden chest with our extra keys. But um, for now, I'm, I'm actually feeling pretty okay. At least I know that temporarily we're going to be able to survive. Now, the uh, we've already been to our item room. We haven't been to our shop. We may go. We've already fought a mini boss, so we know it won't have greed in it. I really wish we had a bomb again. Please just die. Yeah, I, I didn't want you to change directions there. I think Guppy's hairball might have done that for us. Let's try that again. Yeah, Guppy's hairball is doing a number on them. I like it. You gotta be careful with that one, but got the job done. So at least, like I was trying to say before I lost my train of thought, um, we should survive for this floor, and it's really that, that special room after the floor that's going to dictate, to a large extent, whether this is a successful uh, run or not a successful run. This room's a little overwhelming at first glance, but as long as you just kind of keep moving, should be okay. Lost half a spirit heart. You know, that's not unexpected. Even a full spirit heart. It's not unexpected for the relative lack of strength that we have and the relatively late floor we're on. I don't mind it. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we will fight the boss. This is a big one. And it's the pony. Uh, 
It's terrible. It's Headless Horseman, I guess I should say, but it gives us the pony. Why is this terrible? Well, first off, it's terrible because it, it presents me with a choice. Do I want to keep Book of Revelations, or do I want to get an ability to fly that takes up our active item slot? The answer is I want to keep Book of Revelations, but it's it's fairly close. And the second reason it's bad is because Headless Horseman is just not good enough. You know, the pony item is not good enough, and it's a relatively difficult boss sometimes. But uh, additionally, the item is just... And we don't have any outs with respect to the item. We, we can't re-roll it, we can't do anything like that, so we're a little bit uh, hemmed in, as usual. Also, we didn't get our second level cube of meat, so there's like a triplicate bad thing about it. At the end of the floor, we'll fly around a little bit, though, with um, with the Headless Horseman, and, or the Pony, I should say, and we'll pick up, like, all these consumables that we can afford to pick up. Disappointing, though. This run, uh, I, I very much feel, has worked against me up to this point. That being said, we're not out. We're down. But less down than we were, like, a, even a couple floors ago. But we're not really, we don't have that much momentum. It's okay, though. Let's take our pill. Oh my god, let's take our pill. Eh. Nun's habit's real good. Like, extraordinarily so. Will we get the money necessary to buy Nun's habit? That's a good question. The golden chest could give us a, a bit. Well, it could give us all of it, but it, I would expect it to only give us a bit. Hmm. You gotta admit, even if you're the the most staunch supporter of quote-unquote Northern Lion Luck. This has been a, a, a shit run right now, in terms of items. But a shit run, you know, it's just an opportunity to, to make yourself and your skills look even better. You know, like the end of uh, a streetcar named Marge. A s stranger's just a friend you've never met. Now, we need five cents from our golden chest. Will we get five cents from our golden chest? I don't know, but with the surplus of keys we have, I am gonna check out our library. These are two very good books. But we're gonna go with Book of Revelations. We can't get any value out of Shadows or Belial at this point. I really, really wanna get Nun's Habit, especially if we, ah, no, that's not gonna work. But if we got Nun's Habit and somehow still had money, we could like, uh, Get an arcade on the next floor, generate so many spirit hearts. It would be good. It'd be great. But we gotta, you know, we gotta, we gotta make it happen first. And all we're really gonna be able to pick up here is uh, the golden chest. So if this ends up being shitty, well, we're shit out of luck. Well, we got a bomb and a key. Don't that feel good? We can at least blow this up. And we'll get two spirit hearts out of that. I mean, it's probably less, I'm going to say, than we would have gotten if we had uh, picked up the nun's habit. Well, at least it's good to know that playing that judgment for two cents didn't screw me on this one. And the the good thing is we could possibly get a, a blood bank on this floor as a result. And we could still get the map. Map's pretty good. It's a bit of a compromise, but that's okay. Life's about compromises sometimes. That tears downgrade is, this is the first time I think I've shot since I've had it. Man, this is, uh, it's a downer. It's a downer. It's times like that when you really feel like it's, the game just doesn't want you to win. It's like, you're really gonna give me a tears downgrade? So instead of looking for the secret room, I did uh, just go to the golden chest, which, honestly, I feel somewhat vindicated in it now. I know the map's not so good when you already have Spelunker's hat, but I still think it's nice. I like it. Helps us kind of plan out our floor. We should have the range necessary to hit this guy from afar, at least. Ooh, it's a little tight. Like once every three shots, for whatever reason. I'm not even touching the keyboard here. We can get some uh, velocity on our shots by throwing some like movement into it. I don't want to get close, because if he hits me, like, I'll feel real bad. Come on. Oh my god, well that feels way worse. At least we got a key. No, uh, no deal with the devil slash angel coming to save us on this one. I can't believe we didn't get one on the last one. Just like serious shit luck. Two deals with the devil, not enough health to really take them, and they were both bad. Like all four items were bad. No deals with the angel. But I'm not the I'm not the complainer type that much, believe it or not. I try to just live in the live in the moment, you know. If this is our situation, then. 
complaining is not going to do much about it. All we can... Hey, Guppy's hairball is real good against Zambros. Um, if this is our situation, all we can really do is... Uh, is do the best we possibly can. And, you know, I think people will be able to see that. That's my philosophy on things as well. Or, anyway. So, please God, let there be an all stats upgrade in here. An all state Doritos player of the game. A range upgrade. Alright. So we can confirm now, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that the game doesn't want us to win. I like when Guppy's hairball gets huge. It kind of looks like a like a little hamster or a puppy dog or something like that. Um, yeah, we uh, we can confirm beyond a shadow of a doubt the game doesn't want us to win. So, what do we do with that? Well, we uh, turn up both middle fingers and say, you know what, game? If you don't like it, you can leave. And then we're going to go to town on the game's bitch ass and basically win the game and maybe, I don't even know, become president of the United States or something, even though we weren't born there. We'll pass a constitutional amendment. And our, my first legislation is gonna be fuck the troll engine. It's not even gonna have, like, a mission statement or anything. It's just gonna be like, this. you're a piece of shit. The end. So we haven't been to our regular secret room yet, but I kind of feel like our second secret room is, like, more valuable. Although our regular secret let's hope we don't have to make a choice. Because our regular secret room could have, like, Pyro or something. Many other good options. Fool card is good for maybe getting a deal with the devil after the boss. Of course, a couple of spiders, you know? You did give me Guppy's head earlier, so, you know, you're still uh, in my good books, don't worry. That's the second best item we're rolling with right now. That and Mom's heels. You know it's a good run when I'm talking up Guppy's hairball like it's the second coming of Jesus Christ. Come on. And Guppy's hairball is actually doing work. I, I do appreciate it. Now, we will be fighting Mom here. How strong are we for a Mom fight? Pretty darn weak, honestly. But, you know, we got Rage working out in our favor. Which, whenever I fight with my Mom, I try to stay as composed and conservative as possible. Um, but maybe I'll try the Rage Baby style eventually. I don't actually fight with my Mom. I'm an adult. And she's an adult. That's, I, I don't want to, I feel bad because I say like, oh, I have a good relationship with my parents because I'm an adult. And then, you know, you realize there's a lot of shitty parents out there who have like adult age children, but they're still kind of like shitty parents. So I don't want to make you feel like if you're an adult, you have to have respect for your, I mean, maybe you have respect, but uh, you don't necessarily have to get along with them. If you're an adult and you think maybe your dad's kind of like a piece of scum, maybe he's a piece of scum. I don't know. I'm not trying to start any infighting here. I'm just trying to say you can make your own decisions in life, but I have a, don't just leave me out of it, basically. And I have now dragged myself in. But that's okay. Good shots here, as you can tell. Two extra keys. Really don't want to open that golden chest for the cost of two keys, but... We'll see. Guppy's hairball doing work again. Poison touch? Alright, that's... It's not a coup, but it's like... It's something. Poison touch at least gives me a little bit of hope. Uh, key for a nickel, not a very good trade. I don't know what I was thinking there, but again, Guppy's Hairball or a Cube of Meat keep coming to my rescue here on these Zambros. Honestly, I know I took dumb damage there, but I don't really care. I feel like, uh, the Guppy's Hairball positives outweigh the negatives by getting so close. Then I mean, maybe not that time. <laughs> that time we did no need to get so close. Okay, we, we'll use the Fool card when we leave. I expect this to be annoying. Thank God it's not Blue Mom. That's all I can say. Alright, let's build up our Rage Babies a little bit here. That's bad damage. Not loving life when stuff like that happens. Oh my God. I'm really just like, I'm a lazy dodger here. Alright, play it smarter. Stay far away, but when you get close, let Guppy's Hairball do what it was born to do. There you go. There's a little bit of a swing in there. Oh, that was a good one. All right. So maybe you can, like, snap it back. Yeah, you know when Mom's uh, heel's gonna come down. You snap it forward, then you snap it back. You do the bend and snap. Reese Witherspoon would be happy. Well, she seems like she's happy a lot of the time, except in that weird video where her husband was driving drunk, and then, you know, she's like, don't you know who I am? Probably not the right time for that rant, but she was under the influence of, uh, you know, the world's oldest drug, so... I don't know what the world's oldest drug is. Most people don't know the world's oldest drug is actually Jankum. Yeah. Man, I am not doing so well in this fight. I'm kind of relying on the Ankh to carry me. 
But I don't want to see shit in the comments. It's like, oh, you've thrown this run away by taking damage here. This is a... <laughs> Look at this bullshit. This is a tough run, man. This is a really, really difficult one. I'm doing my best. Okay. If you'll excuse me here, I'm going to place a bomb here. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Guppy's Hairball. I like that one a lot. Wasted a whole spirit heart for no reason. We did, on the other hand, though, get our second HP upgrade of the game. That's right, kids. Two HP upgrades. Play your cards right. We could uh, maybe turn that into one or two. Oh, now I can't even get to our second secret room. One or two deals with the devil. Speaking of which, I just got to take a second here. Handle something. And I'm good. All right. We're fine. Disregard that. Don't worry about it. Um, I still don't want to trade a key for five cents. Deal with the devil, please. Oh, you fuck you. It's going to be one of these. So, what's our out now? <laughs> uh, first off, thank you for believing in me and thinking that I could possibly win this one. It is possible. I'm not trying to sandbag too much. I see a couple outs. And they're not mutually exclusive. If we get both, I'd be thrilled. Um, one is, we get a deal with the devil on this floor, we get mom's knife. The other is, we get a deal with the devil. And either just as a result of two really lucky deal with the devil items, or a good deal with the devil in a good curse room, we end up becoming guppy. Mom's knife plus guppy is really the best possible outcome, if we could swing it. But, uh, you know, considering we don't have a reroll, let's just worry about, like, getting the first part knocked out first. So, I'm gonna use Book of Revelations. What's the downside? We're, we're gonna fight Death to get a third level cube of meat we don't want, and maybe fight Conquest as well. What's the upside? We have another Spirit Heart, which means we can effectively absorb one more hit before we have to worry about losing Red Hearts. And there's that hit right there. Okay. I wish that we had maybe not used it right away, but sometimes this room can be a little tricky. Thank you, Cube of Meat, for blocking a shot. I appreciate it a great deal, more than you know. Now, that pill, we know it. It's a tears downgrade. Wonderful. We did find our boss room right off the bat. So that, oh, geez, okay, I can't take damage against death or please God, don't be conquest. Don't do this to me. This is my one chance of redemption and greatness. It's death at least, that's, it could be worse. I'm really not that fast, considering how many non-HP upgrades I picked up. You'd expect me to be a little freaking quicker than I am right now, but I'm not. Yep, there we go. So, fuck it, I give up. Uh, we don't pick up third level cube of meat, but now our, our outs is basically exceptionally good luck, followed by winning with the Ankh. And I don't place a lot of uh, faith in that strategy. And honestly, this is just one of those Isaac runs that you... Oof. It's a shame that it's coming in the last week, but that doesn't necessarily lend it any more or less significance. But um, it's one of those Isaac runs that just kind of sucks. It happens, man. It's representative of, uh, of a large subset of Isaac runs. We just never really uh, have the capabilities to do anything serious on this one. And I don't take all the blame for that. You know what? Let's go down to Shoal. Let's not... I picked up the cube of meat as well. Smart guy here. Um, yeah, let's go down to Shoal. Why is this only second level cube of meat? Did I not? Oh, because I got Headless Horseman earlier. Oh, I'm super dumb. Just straight up an idiot. Yeah, but we'll go down to Shoal. This is quite clearly a run that has been deigned by the uh, RNG Jesus. RNG Jesus, I should say. Uh, to be not cathedral and chest worthy. That's fine, you know? Not everybody's cut out to be uh, a doctor. Not every run is cut out to send you to uh, the cathedral and the chest. We can live with this. I should have stayed at a half heart interval. That's okay, though. There we go. There's our half heart. I got your half heart interval right here. WalterWhite.gif slash funnyjunk.com. Now, okay. 
What are our chances of be well, we can't fly. What are our chances of beating Mom's heart? Great, I would say, especially... Well, I mean, I'd rather not use the Ankh, but if we have to use the Ankh, we'll have extra damage. What are our chances of beating Satan? I don't know. Um, sure, Unicorn Horn. You, you got me. Uh, it's... I mean, we could use that to play our Blood Bank, but then we couldn't get back and get our Book of Revelations. Um, I'd say they're maybe a little bit under half. Like, under 50-50 right now to win. Why? Because... We're, uh, you know, we're gonna try to get to the end of Shoal as quickly as we can, but some of those rooms on Shoal, with the kind of shitty run we're having right here, could be problematic. Wow, that was bad of me. We do have Poison Touch. Oh, come on. Well, that's fine. We can at least get to a half-hard interval. So, yeah, I, I don't actually know what our, our chances are gonna be here, but I'm gonna try to make it work. I'm a little optimistic. I'm at least, I'm more optimistic now than I was minutes ago, now that I've committed to going to Shoal. Now, I, I may go to the Cathedral if I forget, or perhaps less likely, if I end up getting, like, Polyphemus just out of nowhere. Barring that miraculous turn of events, uh, we'll be heading down to the, uh, you know, Halloween update style of the game. Remember before the Cathedral and the Chest were in the game? Those were, that was a long time ago. Back when beating Satan was considered like an enormous uh, coup, as opposed to just, you know, what you do when your run's kind of bad. So our boss room's probably over there on the far right. Maybe on the upper right, but probably on the far right. Could go to our second secret room. I know I've kind of like, despite having Spelunker's head, I haven't really put that much faith in our second secret rooms, but... We haven't really had many bombs over the course of this entire run. And in a perfect world, if we had, like, Pyro or something, sure. Sign me up for second room subscriptions. I'll take one on every floor, please. Make it a double. But without any bombs, you kind of got to prioritize. Especially when we know we're fighting Mom's Heart, an enemy for whom uh, bombs are extremely useful. So that's the perfect amount of HP. Could save the Spirit Hearts until a little later. Just so we don't lose them, but... Honestly... Can't be fucked. <laughs> You want me to care, game? You're gonna have to do a little better than this. There's another spirit art to back us up. Here we go, getting some momentum. I would consider a win on Shoal kind of a fuck you to this game anyway. We, not to say that Isaac is bad. I'm not angry at the game. I'm angry at this run of the game. I'm not even angry. It's just a frustrating one. Because you always want to be as powerful as possible. And we didn't get even close to that on this run. We only got two HP upgrades on the whole run. And then we had one shot speed upgrade, like one speed upgrade from bosses. Tears downgrade pills, like look at this nonsense, what's up with that? Oh wow, okay, so it is upper, right? Ah, I shouldn't have taken that. Oh good, we got a range upgrade, that'll mean like our third one of those. That's pretty exciting. Because now, if I could just maybe stay back here and shoot at mom's heart, that would be great. No bomb synergies. The only deal with the Devil item we got was Guppy's Head, which probably not objectively the worst deal with the Devil item to pick up. But it's pretty bad. Alright, I'm in full-on wine mode now, but that's okay. Hopefully my wine mode turns into a champagne mode. After we win. I really thought you would die. Okay, that was uh, not scary in the least. What are you concerned about? This is going to be like the world's longest... Mom's heart fight. The good news is, we build range. The bad news is, literally everything else about this is gonna be like pulling teeth. Not range, rage. I can see how you could easily be confused by that. A, because I said it, and B, because we've had so many range upgrades. No lump of coal. It's like the 12 days of Christmas, except it's on the first day of Christmas, my mother told me. Christmas is cancelled, get back to school, there's no fun, <laughs> Like, alright, I don't know how long I can keep that going on, to be honest with you, but I was pleased with it for a little while there. No fucks to give. Six speed ups, no good pills. Every second day of Christmas, apparently, is just no. On the noth day of Christmas, the elves above gave to me. Shaking faith in the Lord. There is no God. I'm <laughs> like, okay, I didn't mean to make it like a secular versus religious thing. Just like, you know, 
the agreed sense of despair would have been a better way to put that. Don't be silly, YouTube. You're always silly. Be a little bit less silly. I actually don't know if we're gonna beat Mom's heart on this life. It's it's breaking my balls here. Like, I don't even know. Chad, sorry, Chubb. We already killed Chad. That was one of our best items. Little Chad, for sure. Um, Chubb could have 20 hits left, he could have zero. I don't know. Well, he can't have zero, but... I don't know if he's close to death or... There we go. All right. Can't ballpark it at all. Let's do this shit. Oh, man, we're going so quickly that we actually got a second wave of zombies. That's great for my self-confidence. All right, tell you what. There we go. That was pretty good. I wish I could just run up and do poison touch damage, but I actually can't get close enough to do it. I don't know what up with that. Maybe I don't want to be close enough to do it. Are you close enough to do it? Like, look at this. This is like a 25 hour long mom's heart fight. Your mom's heart oftentimes dies in like less than 10 seconds. Sometimes less than 20 seconds. Almost always less than a full minute. And now this, okay, let's lose at the last possible second. This is just perfect. Well, you know, again, final week of Isaac. We're in some uh, representative runs right now. By the way, when I say final week of Isaac, that, uh, the question that's going to come up a lot, I'm sure, even though it hasn't yet because these are recorded in advance, is will you ever return to vanilla after Rebirth comes out? And the answer to that question is probably at times, like, yeah. But I don't, I don't have a plan to, like, play vanilla while also playing Rebirth. I think that would just be confusing and, like, bad for my play overall. Okie dokie. Down to shoal, eh? Let the full Canadianisms out. Oh, this run's not very much of a beaut, eh? Here we go, bud. No bombs. That's bad. You got a bomb. Maybe if I blow you up in the right way, you can give me access to the secret room. How do you feel about that? We have like a little bit of a truce here? Something like that. Hey! All right. Now, let's just kill these guys, because I don't want to have to go through this room again. We built a little bit of rage. Might as well enjoy it. I can't believe that we got two HP upgrades over the course of this entire effing run. I've gained more than two HP from, like, mini-bosses. I was trying to think of something that sounded ridiculous but could also be plausible. I may actually have gained more than 2 HP from mini-bosses. You know, if they give you like a good tarot card or something like that. Good pill, plus uh, gluttony is just less than 3. Maybe a super gluttony on the same run. Ooh, careful. Seriously. Like, I can't, I can't play this if every room is just gonna take 4 minutes to do. It's a war of attrition. You don't win a war. Like, Isaac's not won by attrition. It's won by you smacking the crap out of the game. And, of course, all the doors are freaking exploded, so I could easily walk out or get, you know, blown out by an explosion and freaking uh, lose all of my progress. Just, just pass away. That's my polite way of saying, F you, Satan. Get back to hell where you belong. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, I can breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief. We're probably going in the totally wrong effing direction. We got a bomb. We got the ability to fly. Oh, sweet, gentle Jesus. And two more spirit hearts. Somebody up there likes me. Being able to... Oh, okay. Being able to fly is actually an extraordinary upgrade for us. That's extremely good. So, I'm very pleased with the way this went down, but holy crap, this means our boss is so far away. <laughs> How do I use bombs? I wouldn't mind using one on this room. Alright, poison touch. Let's try to use that effectively, too. Um, we need one for the fallen. Typically makes our life a little bit easier. Uh, the fallen, of course, you fight just before, uh, just before Satan. Why not take the steam sail? Yo, you gonna come at me? Why not take the steam sail? Kate's pretty excited. She's probably not excited about this run. Not if she knew what uh, kind of purgatorial type stuff we were mired in right now. Oh, this looks lovely. I apologize for being so cynical right now, but at the same time, can you blame me? 
Remember that if we die, we actually do gain access to uh, the stat bonus from Whore of Babylon. I'm gonna try to put that in the back of my mind because I'm desperately desiring it right now. But it's for our best interest, or in our best interest, to just hold the F up. And, oh, this is the dream room. I don't even care if we take damage, just the fact that it's gonna be over before 15 minutes is a godsend in and of itself. Alright, we don't want that. Yet. Oh, this is a room where we are guaranteed to take damage, yeah. That one's not going anywhere. Well, we can come back from this amazingly. Two of clubs, sure, that doubles our bombs. We'll take it right away. I think we're going to win this one. And uh, I apologize for my complaining. No, please realize that a lot of it is done in jest. Just to kind of be like, you know, just because it's funny. I think it's funny, at least. Alright, there's a... I mean, we're benefiting from this permanent Polaroid invincibility occasionally. If this is a double item room, I would be so happy. Use these bombs to just blow our way through here. Oh, never mind. All right, Horror Babylon. I don't know why we started with so many Spirit Arts here, but at least we should have a small bit of damage here. Oh, Poison Touch. Do my dirty work for me. Lo that one Loki is straight up deceased right now. What? You lived temporarily in a much diminished capacity to what your normal quality of life was? Still, I'm not all for that. I think we can beat Satan on this setup, even with only four spirit hearts. Library. Necronomicon. Ew, baby. A Necronomicon. I'm not gonna use that yet. Oh, come on. But I will use Necronomicon for the boss fight, because it looks like Book of Revelations isn't gonna line up properly. Um, which, why would we want to use Book of Revelations on the boss fight anyway? But, um, yeah, we'll use the Necronomicon. To uh, hopefully deal damage to those like flies that uh, that death creates sometimes. Now we only really need one bomb for the uh, for the fallen fight. I'm super pissed about the damage that I've taken, but at the same time, I sort of feel like it's. I mean, I don't want to say not my fault because I don't want to place blame on any other entity here. But come on, look at this! Look at this damage! Look at this run, man! A win against Satan is. An incredible patent SQ here. Well, just, um, you know, go get a snack. I'll be here. When. Oh, okay. I was about to break into song. You guys got lucky. I am amazed and relieved that one way or the other, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you. That's me talking to the ham sandwich I'm gonna eat after this run is finally over. One way or another, I'm gonna eat ya, eat ya. Okay, bomb. Now. Surprisingly easy to make that work. Gives us a little bit of rage, too. Bomb, we'll throw in another one because, whoa! Thanks a lot, Gubby's Hairball. You know what, Gubby's Hairball, I ain't mad. You have done a great job for me over the course of this run, and I want you to know that I appreciate it. Nothing you do changes our relationship, Gubby's Hairball. Oh, that's not good. You should, like, prepare to die. Two HP left. This should be the easy part. I've been wrong before. Wow, I did not expect that attack. Kind of got frozen there. I'm lucky he didn't do the lasers. Yeah, come get a taste. So, that's really bad. Hairball. Do your dirty work. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, now we just gotta not get hit. I'm already pleased with this run. Like, the the outcome. Not so much the methodology of it. So we use that to get rid of the bomb flies. He spawned two more, like, instantly. Wow, okay. Well, thanks for watching The Binding of Isaac. <laughs> what an embarrassing run. In any case... If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.